Lord shows him as a priest for himself to offer him a sacrifice of praise. the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. For us to celebrate a sacred mystery is worth it. We first acknowledge our sins. Be sorry for them. Then we ask for the mercy of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest Saint Pius a share in the cross of your son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. On the first day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shiltil, and to the high priest Joshua, son of his Jehozadak. Thus says the Lord of hosts, this people says, The time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then this word of the Lord came through Haggai the prophet. Is it time for you to dwell in your own paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? Now thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. You have sown much but have brought in little. You have eaten, but have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but have not been exhilarated. Have clothed yourselves, but not been warmed. And whoever earned wages, earned them for a bag with holes in it. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up into the hill country, Bring timber and build a house that I may take pleasure in it and receive my glory, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high graces of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. 
I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets, has a reason. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us reflect on the readings, the important lessons, the important message of God to us now. And let us also learn how Saint Pius of Petrelsena or known as Saint Padre Pio, embodied the messages and the importance of the Word of God in his life. We give importance to the Word of God, and secondly, how a human being embodied it. Devotion to Saint Padre Pio is well known here in the Philippines so much. Not only during this pandemic, but even before this pandemic, kilala na si Padre Pio, bantog na siya sa mga dibusyon sa mga tao, gapalapit mga tao sa pagpangayo sa iya pangamuyo. Let's learn how this human being, this Franciscan Capuchin, embodied the lessons now we have in the readings. Sabon importante kayo eh, the Word of God. First and foremost, Padre Pio embodied the lesson in today's gospel reading. How? Not about his miracles, but about the ministries of Padre Pio. The ministries. Sa iyo ron, mas kikita kahibo sina. Milagroya ka budlay na iya. Ginapili na nang itagaan sa milagroya. Pero wag ministry, pati kita pwede. Oh, amo ni importante relevant kaayo pati kita pwede gid mapangabuhi ta gid ni kunlo yagta oh, number one. in today's first re gospel reading there was this curiosity of king herod no oh, who is this man you know my dear friends this uh, phenomenon of stigmata si padre pio may stigmata eh. i don't know kabalo ka mo sina he also bear the physical marks of the wounds of Jesus. May mga pilas na di siya ho, tiil, may harap na siya, stigmata. Oh. This phenomenon of the stigmata seems to be part of the Franciscan tradition of mysticism. Do harap na sa ila, sa mga Franciscans. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, the first recorded in history to, to bear these physical marks of stigmata was St. Francis of Assisi. Recorded, if I'm not mistaken, siya. Ang founders ng Franciscans. Si St. Francis, may stigmata to St. Francis. No? And what is that stigmata? Stigmata is a sign, a sign of deep union with Christ. Lapit-lapit lagi kay Jesus, ang muna ganing, naging paambit yaman sa imo ang gift, ang gift sang pilas niya. Ang muna kalapit sang tao. Ha? Ang stigma tayo is a sign of your deep union, intimate closeness with Jesus Christ. Uh. So St. Francis, he had also this stigma it seems to be part of the tradition of the mysticism of the Franciscans. And so, 70 years after, 70, 
not 70, but 700 years after, I'm not mistaken, si another Franciscan Capuchin nakabaton sini in 1918 and he had it for 50 years. He died in 1968. O, dahil mo na sa inyo na tawo sini. Buhi na ka mo sang napatay si Padre Pio. May mga buot na ka mo kalabanan. 1968 siya napatay. For 50 years, he bore this pilas. And you know my dear friends, it's during the Mass especially, gadugo ni and it's painful kung magdugo. Sakit-sakit kada misa yan eh. Huh? It's no joke for 50 years. Huh? Especially when it comes to Friday or first Friday, grabing dugo magmisa siya. Sakit-sakit sa yurun. Gamisa sa grabe ang pain. Hindi magwantahan. This is what he called the ministry of St. Padre Pio. One of his ministries the Ministry of Solidarity. Solidarity. Why? Because I think Padre P was given this gift of the stigmata also to be united. He must learn to be united with the people of God who are suffering. Makiisa ikaw sa mga tao nga nagaantos, mga anak sa Diyos who are physically suffering. Ha? Be compassionate, empathize. But not only that, physically suffering. Actually, St. Padre Pio, he experienced also another level of pain. The pain of being misunderstood by the church authorities and by his his own community sakit sakit pagid na oh in the gospel reading jesus christ was misunderstood oh. being one with the lord first and foremost he was misunderstood he was mistaken to be another person john the baptist elijah the prophets kasubo kun masalan ka Di bala, masalaan ka nga iban nga tao, sakit na. Wala sila kilala sa imo. Nasalaan ka pa, sakit na, hindi bala. Oh. Sa so, muna yung ministry ni St. Padre Pio, he embodied it. His Lord was mistaken, was misunderstood. Kag siya, he was also misunderstood. Nagsakit ginang iya nga balat siyagon. Ginkuntra siya sa simbahan mismo mga authorities. He was even deprived for a long time not to exercise or practice in public his priestly ministries. Sakit na. But again, it is an invitation for him to learn to be one with people who are not suffering just physically, but those good people. There are so many good people in our society being misunderstood, being misjudged, being mistaken. And what is that pain? The pain ng emo reputation tainted. The pain that your credibility, credibility is being questioned. Ang po nang esperinsya ni Padre Pio, abin nyo, hapos-hapos lang ito nga. Wala agis ang problema. Sakit kay Padre Pio, kay pati nga credibility, ginapamangkot na, tuod magina. Kahit yung kontraya nga daan. Church authority, ang community nga Franciscan, pamangkotun ka. Pamangkotun ka. Tuod na, ang po nang ano. O, te. There are so many good people in society, who suffer unnecessarily. Number one, because of gossip. Kutsu-kutsu. Kutsu-kutsu lang naguba sila. Gin pangguba. Sige siya pong pangguba. No? Because of gossip. Maybe because of misunderstanding. Maybe because of lack of understanding. Maybe because of misinformation. 
and fake news. Amo nang tuod. The Ministry of Solidarity. Makiisa ikaw, Padre Pio, sa mga tao sa Diyos na nagaantos, gakaguba ang ngalan. It could happen also that people would misunderstand you. We'd understand a person. He's just trying his best or the person is just trying one's best para for the good of others. Gafalo mas ang mga basic protocols para sa safety sang against COVID-19. Pero iba, ginakadlawan sila. Ginahimu-himuan storya. Nga, mo sina. Gasunod mo lang ang tao sang basic mga protocols sina. For his own safety, or her own safety, and for the sake of others. Di ba sila ni Pope Francis? Following now be to be vaccine and to follow protocols is a sign of your love for others. Do everything for the sake of others, for the love of others. Tinga nga may ibang na tao ng gah paminsar ginain amosini. The protection na nasa kita mahal magbayad sa hospital subong nga ikaw mabayad how? Ma hospital siya? Ikaw magasto? nga paubahan mo na sa iya, pakakas mo na sa iya. Ah. Ah, muna isa ka problema nowadays. Kadamo sa mga tao nga uh, misunderstood. So they're not only suffering from physical pains, but they kadamo gidaga suffer from the pains of misunderstanding and being mistaken. So, Pope, Pope uh, St. Pius of Petrosena or St. Padre Pio, he had this ministry. He was learning to be one sa mga nagaalantos sa mga tao sa palibot. Kadamo sa nagaalantos. And that's why he was given the gift. It's a gift of this phenomenon, the stigmata. The invitation for us is this. Learn to identify yourself with those who are suffering in our society nowadays, especially in this time of pandemic. Learn to identify with them and learn to understand them and pray for them instead of judging them, instead of condemning them. Why don't you pray for them? Be one with our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the gospel was misunderstood, was mistaken. Secondly, the ministry of Padre Pio, remember, people would come to him, even we would come to him for his intercession when in our needs, because we know this man is a prayerful person. Gapalapit ka mo sa iya kay kabalo ko mapinangamuyuon ning natawo ining santos mapinangamuyuon so gapangay ka mo sang pangamuyo niya oh. what is the lesson we can learn from saint padre pio that he embodied in the readings in today's first reading hagay he was the first prophet he was the first prophet and he was the prophet given the responsibility by God to build the temple after that post-exilic period wherein Cyrus the Persian king sent them back to the promised land to rebuild, to rebuild their community, to rebuild their lives, to restore their lives, but also to restore their own temple. The temple is a place for prayer of the community. And that is the symbol of unity and the restoration of life of a person. Life is not just physical, but more on the spiritual. What happened in the Old Testament, the first reading, people started to build their own houses. They started to focus on their own physical, existential needs but they have forgotten to build the temple of God. As 
commanded by Cyrus no, to build your own place of worship. Nalimta na nila, especially the rich ones, mga manggarano, nalipat na sila. So God sent a prophet, Haggai, to tell them, Hoy, 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 prioritize God. Prioritize the temple, the place of our worship that brings us together to pray. Because when there is no temple, you may forget to be a prayerful community as we should be. As God's people, you may forget to be praying every day na. And when one forgets to be prayerful, one would be very much materialistic. And that's what, what happened in the time of Haggai. Isra, Nehemiah, the prophet was Haggai. Not Isra, not Nehemiah, the prophet was Haggai. No? And we can put it now, nowadays, the relevance ang mga tao, no? mga tao nga, malipat magpangamuyo, kakinanan yung mga muyo, kay binunyagan siya, makita mo nga, maski si mo, katulik ko ni, si mo, ano man ni, pro, nga, kamaterialistik. No? Mas unaho niyang ginansya, sang sa kabuhi, sang tao. Lapako niya pa ang tao. Para makagamit siya, ibana niya ang sweldo sang tao niya. Pero gusulubra naman ang kwarta niya. Pero ibana niya pag inyong kwarta sang sweldo sang tao niya. Grabe, kamaterialistik, na mo makita. Pati mismo sa sweldohan ay i-oppress pa. Hindi pa baghata mga benefits sa mga tinawo. Nga ah, materialistik mo. Sa yun, wala na sa prayer life siya. Wala na prayer life. It's all for a show. Pakita-kita lang na. O, te. Padre Pio embodied the importance of prayer. That's why, yeah, he is well known sa ginahambal niya. Pray, hope, and do not worry. O, hindi lang hambal-hambal yan. Padre Pio really embodied no, spending hours in prayer. Spending hours in prayer. And this, I think, the invitation for us too. We can do it also. Because this is not a miracle. To be prayerful is not a miracle. We can do it as Padre Pio did. Spend time in prayer. Union with God. Interior closeness with God. Of course, my dear friends, you have also to do to find a living para mabuhi ka man, pero mabuhi ka para sa Diyos, hindi para sa kwarta, o hindi para sa ginansya, para sa Diyos. No? Restore your life. Rebuild your life. Restore it. Rebuild it. Huh? Your spiritual life is very important. And with this, Padre Pio, he he practiced the ministry of healing. Huh? Not only the ministry of solidarity, but the ministry of healing and restoration, rebuilding. Paano? He spent hours in the confessional box. And he has a great devotion to the Eucharist. The love with these two sacraments. Reconciliation, and the Holy Mass. Grabe ding devotion ni Padre Pio. With that experience of solidarity with people who are suffering, not just physically, but even relational sufferings, or even misunderstood, or misjudged, mistaken, he learned to see people going to confession in great pain, in great burden. And with his closeness, Prayer life to Jesus, who also a suffering one, who suffered, he developed an intuition, makilala niya, makita niya ang kabugat sa tao, kapalapit sa confession, makita niya. He was given that gift, ma-recognize niya, 
people coming with great burdens. And that's why he focused on this ministry of healing, giving to suit the souls of people uh, in pain, to help people free from the burdens of sin. So we can say that Padre Pio, he was a wounded healer. Literally, he was wounded, bearing the marks of the wounds of Jesus Christ. Wounded, being misunderstood, being misjudged, being mistaken. But he was a healer. He didn't go around to wound other people, Mangita patas pa. Mamang pang palasong taman ka mo. Mamang abumang ko na, balos man ko sa inyo. No. He was a healer. He was a healer. And my dear friends, I think this is also the invitation for us. We can do it also. We are all wounded people. In one way or another. Until now, we are being wounded. Wounded by others and maybe... We keep on wounding other people. But this time, we are in the invitation through the intercession of St. Padre Pio. May we learn, yes, we have been wounded, but the only way to stop that cycle of hurting, of wounding one another, would start from ourselves. We start now to heal. Start to heal. Come to the Eucharist. The Eucharist is a healing it heals our woundedness. Come to the sacrament of reconciliation. It heals our woundedness. And from that, we start to heal other people. We cannot heal other people on our own because we are so broken. We have to come first to the Lord to be healed from our brokenness. Then we can go around to heal the broken too. Herod was perplexed about Jesus who was working miracles. He thought that Jesus was John the Baptist whom he beheaded. Let us pray for people who are persecuted on account of their faithfulness to their mission. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. May the church be endowed by the Holy Spirit with apostles and prophets who denounce evil and sin in all their forms. We pray. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. May we be inspired to act by the example of those who devote themselves to the proclamation of the gospel and serving others, often at the cost of their lives or at the cost of their comfort. We pray. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. May rulers and political leaders not run after people who trouble their conscience by speaking the truth and asking for justice, we pray. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. May those who oppress God's prophets of every age know that the righteous are in the hands of God, while they themselves will be bothered by their conscience and will receive punishment for their evil deeds, we pray. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. May we be grains of wheat and instruments for the salvation of humanity, following the example of John the Baptist and of other martyrs, we pray. Lord, give us courage to share the gospel. In silence, we raise to God also prayers and petitions of people and we promise to pray for. Almighty Father, you chose the weak to confound the mighty and the proud. Be our refuge and strength in time of trouble. Give us the courage to stand by our faith. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of and all receive, his And receive, O Lord, we pray the offerings place on your altar in commemoration, blessed pies of Petrel Sena, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sac sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up Let to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Pius of Petrelsena, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mist. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patricia our Bishop, and all the clergy. Also remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Sebastian, Saint Pius of Petrelsina, Saint Zeli and Louis Martin, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer shall the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should that enter, you should under, enter my under my roof. My roof. Only I say the word, word, my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Pius of Petrel Sena, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ratchemperata on the threat from COVID-19. God of our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. May the outpouring of your blessings on the 75th year, foundation anniversary of Carmel, obtain for the human family the healing graces and strength of faith so needed, and that a renewal of relationship with God through prayer change our hearts and lives for the better. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of all Christians and health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for Saint us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The must ended go glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.